Praise the Lord. <clears throat> great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Praise the Lord for the Lord is good. We praise God for this wonderful day and I welcome you to our regular program today. And I praise God for the time we're still here to remind you that Jesus loves and cares about you. You're there, please grab your Bible with you <clears throat> and we will go to the Word of God. <clears throat> right now, John chapter 14, verses 12, it says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than these he will do, because I go to, the, to my Father. Father God, we come to you in your presence today, Lord. Father, we praise you for who you are and thank you for the loving words, O oh God. Here we are again, Lord. We surrender our lives to you, Holy Spirit, take control of everyone who is listening. I pray your blessing, your Holy Spirit, be upon them, Lord. Let them look to you. Let them hear your word, Lord. I'm nothing. I'm just an empty vessel yielding for your Holy Spirit flow through me, O oh Lord Jesus, Father. Bless your word for your glory alone. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. My theme today, it says, God wants to use you. John 14, chapter 14, verses 12, it says, Most surely I say to you, he who believes in me, the work that I do, he will also, he will do also in greater work than this he will do because I go to my Father. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God wants to use you. Jesus said that most I surely I say to you, the scripture I've read to you, that what Jesus, he wants to use you. He wants to use you to glorify his name. Well, let's examine what Jesus is saying here. Most assuredly, most assuredly, whenever the Lord begins with that phrase, it means to pay attention. I say to you, what it says, the Lord is not speaking to unbelievers, but to those who believe in Him, not to someone else, but to you. Did you hear what the Word of God says? Most assuredly, I say to you, it needs to pay attention. Most assuredly, I say to you, the Lord is not speaking to unbelievers, but to those who believe in him, not to someone else, but to you who are listening to me. God wants to use you. He who believes on me and the works that I do will also I do, he will all, he will do also. God wants to use you to do mighty works that Jesus did. Did you hear what the word of God said? God wants to use you just like he used Jesus. Like the mighty works that Jesus did here on earth. And you're questioning in your mind and saying, what works? Well, as you read the gospel, you discover that Jesus Christ preached, yes, healed the brokenhearted, yes, set captives free from bondage, yes, healed the sick. That's what he wants to use you. That's what he wants to use you, just like he did, just like Jesus did. But foremost, Jesus came to save the lost. Let me repeat again, as you read the Gospels, you discover that Jesus Christ preached, healed brokenhearted, set captive free from bondages, healed the sick, but foremost, he came to save the lost. In Acts chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Luke refers to all that Jesus began both to do and to teach. In Acts chapter 1, verse 1, that these verses affirm, this verse affirmed what we often see in the gospel. Jesus often did before he taught. And power 
And he, Jesus often did before he taught. He displayed his character. Hallelujah. And power. He displayed his character and power prior to preaching or teaching. So the people would believe in him. So the people would believe what he said. Like Jesus, we should welcome the opportunity to demonstrate God's love and power before we share his plan of salvation. Hallelujah. He who believes in me, the works I do, he will do also. We cannot save others, nor we can heal those who abound with disease. We cannot set the captives free, nor we can heal broken hearts. We can't do this. But as an instrument, hallelujah, but as an instrument in the hands of God Almighty, He can use us. To do all those things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He can use us. To do all those things. Praise the Lord. Throughout the pages of Old Testament. The Lord used ordinary people. Men and women. Hallelujah. To display to the world. That he is God almighty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. How much more. How much more should we be used today since He has redeemed us by His Son? Praise the Lord. And given us His Spirit to transform us into His glorious image. Praise the Lord. Did you hear what He said? Throughout the Old Testament, throughout the pages of Old Testament, the Lord used ordinary men and women, people, to display to the world that He is God Almighty. How much more we should be used today since He has redeemed us by His Son and given us His Spirit to transform us into His glorious image. Praise the Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 18. The Bible declares, We have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing? God wants to use you. What are you waiting for? Of course, we cannot heal people. We cannot heal the disease. We cannot bound, heal the brokenhearted. We cannot set the captive free. But as an instrument yielding for His Holy Spirit, but as an instrument in the hands of God Almighty, He can use us. My heart goes out to the people that are locked up in jail. We're praying for you in prison. Your heart, you may be locked up. My heart goes out to the people, loved ones, that are being locked up in prison, in jail. Your heart may be locked up. God can set the captives free. Your heart is free. It's open to Jesus. You may be locked up behind bars. But we love you. And your heart is not locked up. You can receive Jesus Christ right there. And believe in his name. He can use you in jail. To become an instrument for him. By what? Reading the word. And fellowshipping and praying with him. We love you. And we're praying for who you are. In prison in jail. Just watching. Only Jesus. Can set the captives free. We're just an instrument. But God willing. Through us. He can use us. To display. His mighty works. 
just like he sent his son Jesus Christ for us today. He loves and cares about you. I praise the Lord for this scripture that we can read in, in, in the Old Testament that God uses ordinary people to display to the world that he is God Almighty. God wants to use you. God wants to use you in prison, in jail, in anywhere. God wants to use you to display his mighty works for the world. Hallelujah. God wants to use you as you are. He has now chosen angels to declare the gospel. He's chosen men and women. He could have easily sent an angel to preach the gospel, to preach the gospel to the house of Cornelius. But he chose to use Peter. But he chose to use Peter's a humble vessel of clay. See, once we surrender to Jesus, once we surrender to Christ, He will use us. Through us, He will bring salvation, healing, and deliverance to others. Remember, God uses people like you to do His will, and you cannot do anything without Him. And I praise God for this wonderful day. We cannot do anything without God, but yet He can use us to display but as an instrument in the hands of God Almighty, we can, He can use us to do all those things. To heal the broken heart. To heal the diseases. To set the captives free. If you are that person and willing to want God to use you, please bow your heads with me and go with me in prayer. Lord Jesus, I hear your word today, Lord. Father God. We come to you with a humble heart, as a broken vessel unto you with a contrite heart. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Use me to display your mighty work for the whole world, Lord. Father God, I pray that you cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Your blood of Jesus cleanse me. My heart, Lord Jesus, I welcome you, Holy Spirit. I welcome you, Jesus, as my Savior. Father God, I praise you and I thank you for your heavenly Father. For your love for us, Lord, you still want to use us to this day. You want to cleanse and you use ordinary people, men and women, to display your mighty work for this world. Father, use us for your glory. Use everyone who is listening. They are not speaking to anyone but anyone who believes in you. You can use them, oh Lord, Father God. I thank you and I praise you, Lord Jesus, for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching me. And thank you for hearing the word of God. And know Jesus wants to use you regardless of your age, of your whatever. Wherever you may be, know God loves you. Know God cares about you. He loves you and I love you with the love of the Lord. May you have a blessed day with Jesus. Amen.